What is up everybody, welcome back to my channel and this will be a video on five reasons why you should be an army helicopter pilot. Reason number one is you can get to the airlines faster than if you took the civilian route. And I know you guys are probably wondering, well, you're a helicopter pilot, how, how does that translate into going to the airlines. So as a military pilot, you can get hired by the airlines at 750 total hours. For helicopter pilots, 250 of those hours have to be in an airplane. So once you reach 500 hours of helicopter time, you only need to go learn how to fly an airplane, which is typically maybe a multi-engine airplane for 250 hours and then you qualify to be hired by the regional airlines at 750 hours with your restricted ATP, which is half of the 1500 hours that the FAA requires you to have if you're trained by a civilian flight school. So it's a pretty big perk. You can get your 500 hours in the army after I would say about three years after flight school, you should have about 500 hours. So go to flight school, your third year after that, you'll be pretty much ready to go to the airlines. That's if you wanna to wait to get 500 helicopter time. At any point, you can start to build your airplane time. Because you have military training, you're still only required to have 750 hours for your restricted ATP. So uh, reason number one, you can get to the airlines faster if that is your desire. Number two is fun. It's actually a lot of fun flying in the military at times, not all the time, but we get to do a lot of things that you would never do on the civilian side. Yes, it could be kind of dangerous at some times, but it's an absolute blast being able to do some of the things that you do in the military just because there's not those FAA rules that kind of limits what you're allowed to do. And the military rules kind of gives you a wider left and right limit as far as flying goes. There's nothing quite like flying at 140 knots, 10 foot above the treetops at nights you would literally never do that anywhere else or something like dynamic hoist where you're still flying with a person on the hoist thinking about it it's absolutely insane to think of some of the things that we do but there's a reason why we do it and there's a reason we train for it uh, and i think once you leave the military you're almost never going to be able to do that ever again in your life or have that kind of fun in an aircraft number three it's very fulfilling some of the most amazing memories that i'll ever have in my life will come through being in the u.s military understanding that that comes with some of the most frustrating and annoying times also but the majority of the time it's very fulfilling being able to go and do your mission especially being medevac which means picking people up taking them where they need to go and getting them the help that they need it's extremely fulfilling yes you can get that on the civilian side but the camaraderie and the brother sisterhood that you build in the military will stick with you for the rest of your life and those memories will literally never leave you Number four is to challenge yourself because Army Flight School, I can pretty much guarantee you, will be the most challenging academic environment you've ever been in. There will be times where you question if you can either get through or if you made the right decision or what you're actually doing there. It's one of those things that when you complete and you look back on it, you think to yourself, wow, I really did that. And then you end up being really proud of yourself for accomplishing that feat. And it's just really good accomplishment for your personal growth. And you get to add it to your resume that you were an Army pilot. Reason number five, the GI Bill. If you join the military to become an Army helicopter pilot, you get the GI Bill. But since you've already become a pilot, if your kids wanted to be a pilot as well, you can pass your GI Bill benefits down to them and they will be able to do whatever they want with it, whether it's go to a trade school, a regular school, whatever it is, they can use that GI Bill benefits to also maybe even become a pilot themselves, which I think is really cool. The Army always did not do that, allow you to pass your GI Bill benefits down to your kids if you didn't use it, but now they do. So I personally have not used mine, so if my children want to go learn to fly something or go to college or do whatever it is, I will pass my benefits to them. And that's something not a lot of people know about. So if you're thinking about it, maybe that'll help you make your decision. So that is my five reasons why you should be an Army pilot. If you like this video or you learned something or you found something interesting, leave me a like. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me make a video on something in particular. Uh, go somewhere, cover something in particular, let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you guys want to see and I'll be making those videos for you guys in the future. Thanks for watching.